and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do sigma notation. Right. Sigma notation means the sum of certain amount of terms. Now it is not always arithmetic, neither is it always geometric. Just like how you had always needed to clarify if something is arithmetic or geometric, the same is required for sigma notation. But before we go into the detail, you need to understand what does each part mean. If I gave you a sigma notation, what it would mean is that the 7 minus 2p is the Tn. It is not the total value, it is simply the Tn. So if I wanted term 1, I would substitute into P the first allocated value of P, which in this case is 2. Remember, there is no rule that the P has to start from 1. You always start the substitution with what is given at the bottom of the sigma notation. So if I wanted term 1, it would be 7 minus 2 into 2. I'm getting the 2 from the bottom of the sigma notation, which is equal to 3. Then, what is n? n is determined by taking the top number minus the bottom one number plus 1. So, it's going to be the top number minus the bottom plus 1. So, in this case, the total number of n is going to equal to 85 minus 2 plus 1. So we would have that n is equal to 84. Right, so to calculate n, we say top minus bottom plus 1. Now, this doesn't solve our problem. We still haven't answered the question. Sigma notation means the sum of, which means we are going to do series. Right. When we're using sigma notation, the most important thing is to get the first three terms. That is by means of substitution. The second thing is to determine n. And number three is to decide if it's arithmetic or geometric. We decide if it's arithmetic or geometric by doing the test. Right, so when you see a sigma notation, the question is exactly as you see it. It will be number one and all they'll give you is the sigma notation with no further instructions. You need to know that by a sigma, they are asking me the sum of. Right. After you decided if it's arithmetic or geometric, you simply substitute into the required formula and you solve. You need to understand this before we go further into series. Thank you for watching.